Okay, so welcome dito. So next na topic is arithmetic progression. Okay. So pag sinabi nating arithmetic progression that is a series of numbers where yung difference of any two consecutive terms is constant, no? So yung constant na yun that is called as the common difference, yung D. So ito yung tinatawag na common So, once yung series of equation mo may common difference yan, so that is arithmetic progression. Okay. For example, dito, no? meron tayong, mag-add tayo ng 3, that becomes 5. Mag-add tayo ng 3, that becomes 8. Mag-add tayo ng 3, meron tayong 11. So, yung common difference niya is 3. Ganun din dito. So, pag mag-add tayo, o mag-subtract tayo ng f- uh, 4, that is 21. Subtract tayo ng 4, that is 17, no? Or mag-add tayo ng negative 4, parang ganun din, no? So, we have 13, no? So, ibig sabihin, yung common difference nila is 13, no? Either it could be positive or negative na uh, difference. So, ganun yung arithmetic progression. So, I think, may kita mo, by series of equation, uh, series of number, kung arithmetic progression siya, kung by common difference. So, yung formulas na ginagamit natin sa arithmetic progression is we have the last term, EN is the last term. Okay? So, pag-solve nung last term, it could be the first term. A1 is the first term. Okay? Plus N minus 1 times nung common difference. So, D is the common difference while yung n yan yung number of terms ayun no? so pag solve naman nung sum nung arithmetic progression is just yung number of terms divided by 2 times nung sum nung first term tsaka yung last term or the a1 plus the an or if we substitute yung value nung en yun yun Kung isa-substitute natin yung dito, yung makukuha natin yung ito. So, it, uh, so, yung sum is just number of terms divided by 2 times nung 2a1 plus n minus 1 times nung depth. Uh, depth times nung common difference. So, yung common difference is just, di ba? Uh, the second term minus the first term or the third term minus the second term. Or the fourth term minus the third term. Ganun. So, I think klaro to. Klaro yung problem na to. So, example. So, example, meron tayong, yung madali lang, no? 1, 3, di ba? Example, mag-add lang ako ng... 2, then I have plus 2, 5, plus 2, 7, plus 2, 9, 1 plus 3, plus, yeah, 1 plus 2, 3, plus 2, 5, plus 2, 7, plus 2, 9, plus 2, 11, plus 2, thir- 13, plus 2, we have uh, 15, plus 2, we have 17, yung mga ganun and so on and so forth. So, gawa tayo ng problem out of this series of equation. Okay? So, for instance, uh, gilibilin ko lang muna. So, ito yung magiging first term ko. Second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, sixth term, seventh term, eighth term, and ninth term. Okay? So, Yung common difference ko naman, may kita ko naman dito. Na meron akong plus 2. No? Plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, and plus 2. Okay? So, bali gawa tayo ng problem. So, if yung first term is 1 and the sixth term is 11, so, ano daw yung magiging value ng third term? Ano daw yung what term is 17? 
And ano daw yung sum ng terms from 1 to 6? Ganun. No? So, solve natin ito. Okay. So, para masolve natin yung third term, gamit tayo ng formula na en equals a1 plus n minus 1 times d common difference. So, yung tinatanong is the third term. So, we have a1. Di ba yung n is 3? So, this would be 3 minus 1. And then, di natin alam yung common difference. No? Based dito. Assuming di mo pa nakikita ito. Assuming hindi mo alam yung siya, ibabaw. No? So, balingan yan. No? So, hindi mo pa ma-solve yung common difference. Okay? So, hindi mo kayang isolve yung common difference. So, wala pa, no? So, yung gagawin na lang natin, instead na third term yung kukunin mo, yung common difference na lang muna. So, ibigay ko na, uh, ilagay ko na lang yung 6. So, magbabago yung yung n natin, gawin kong 6. Kasi yung e6 given, no? Tsaka yung e1 given. So, kung n mo is 6, so yung n din dito is 1, ah, 6. So, ibig sabihin, given yung 6, which is 11, and the first term is 1. So, plus 6 minus 1, so ibig sabihin, yung common difference mo is just equal to 2. Okay? Klaro na? So, since meron tayong common difference, so this time, kaya na natin computein yung A3. Okay? So, gawin ko lang A3. This is equal to A1 plus N minus 1 times the common difference. So, yung N natin dito is 3. So, lagay ko na lang agad. Ha? So, the third term now will be 1 plus 3 minus 1 times 2. And therefore, we have now the third term, and that is 5. Okay? Next, anong term daw yung 17? So, binigay, binigay niya yung term na 17. So, bali, meron tayong en, which is equal to 17. Yung tanong niya is, yung ito. Anong term daw siya? No? So, yun yung tinatanong sa problem. So, ganun pa rin yung formula na gagamitin natin. So, we will be uh, using en equals a1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference. So, yung en is given. We have 17. First term is given, 1. Yung tanong is ito. Okay? And then, we have the value of the common difference which is 2 so madali na lang so makumpute na natin yung n and that is just equal to 9 okay next na tanong niya ano daw yung sum ng 1 to 6 term okay, dito na lang sa kabilang side <clears throat> So, yung SN, meron tayong N divided by 2. We have uh, A1 plus EN. Or that is just equal to N over 2. Nung 2A1 plus N minus 1 times the common difference. So, yung gusto niyang makuha is ano daw yung sum from 1 to 6. So, ibig sabihin, 6 term lahat yung gusto nating makumpute. And we have the first term that is given, 1, plus, meron tayong hanggang 6 term eh, na? So, 6 minus 1 times the common difference. So, we have now the value of the sum from 1 to 6. And that is equal to, so this is equal to, 36. Okay. So, ito na yung sagot. So, ganyan lang guys. Na? Ganyan lang mag ganyan lang kadali yung arithmetic progression. Okay.
Okay, uh, dagdagan pa natin yung problem. So, what if yung tanong naman? Okay, so what if yung tanong naman ngayon? Is sum nung from, lagay natin, third term of 2D, sixth term. Parang ganun, na? So, kaya pa rin din ba yan, na? Pwede pa rin, na? So, ibig sabihin, kung gusto mong kukunin yung sum nung from third term to sixth term, so, gamitan natin ang formula na N, we have 2A1 plus N minus 1 times nung common difference. So, may magbabago lang dito. So, yung number of terms mo dito, para makuha mo yung number of terms, yung ito, that corresponds to this one. Okay? So, meron kang third term, no ba? Fourth term. Third term, fourth term, fifth term, sixth term. So, meron kang N na four terms. Di ba? Try natin. Yung dito naman is magbabago yan kung kaila, uh, ano yung starting point mo. So, this becomes A3. Huh? So, this becomes A3. And then, yung N dito is ano to? Okay? Kung A3 mo yan, so yung N mo that corresponds to your value na 6. Okay? Yung ito. Ha? So, ito yung magko-correspond sa N mo. Sa last term. And then, and then, ano pa? Yun na. Ha? So, solve natin. So, yung sum from third term to sixth term is just 4 divided by 2 times nung two, third term natin is uh, let's say, kinumpit natin yan. That is 5. Na? So, we have 5 plus yung n natin is 6. Uh, dito magbabago ninyo yung 1. Na? Kasi, nag, diba, nung una nito is yung una nito is third term. So, since pinalitan natin yung 1 by 3, so this becomes 3. Okay? So, 6 minus 3 times nung common difference 2. So, yung magiging sakot nyan is equal to 32. Check natin. So, yung gusto nyo ipahanap sa atin is ano yung sum from third term to sixth term. So, yung kukunin na lang natin na value is yung from 5 up to 11. Okay? Add natin yan. So, yung sum is 3 to 6. 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11. That is also equal to 32. So, ibig sabihin, tama yung ginawa natin. So, try natin kunin din ano yung sum from let's say uh, 4 lang. No? 4 to 7. So, try natin ganito. So, sum from 4 term to 7 term. Okay, so we have the fourth term, fifth term, sixth term, and seventh term. So meron tayong four terms. So yun yung ilagay natin, four divided by two. Then yung fourth term natin, kung babasihan natin dito is meron tayong seven. Na? Check ko na lang dito, try natin kung magtatama. Plus... Hanggang 7 eh. No? Hanggang 7. So, 7 minus, yung ito is A4 yan. No? Yan yung A4. So, 4. Then, common difference natin is 2. And that is just equal to. So, computing ko muna. So, we got the value of 40. 40. Okay. So, check natin. So, yung sum from 4 to 7 na term. For example, meron tayong 4 terms. 7. So, 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13. So, 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13. Therefore, that is equal to 
40. So, ibig sabihin tama. Okay? So, ganito din yung way kung magsasum up ka na hindi siya nag-start from the first term. Okay? So, I think that's it for arithmetic progression. So, in the next video, uh, solve tayo ng worded problem related to arithmetic progression and okay, yun. Sige, see you.